Um, who are you and uh, where are you from? I'm Elena Serevina. I'm from Lithuania. Ah, and uh, what do you do now? What's your, what do you do every day now? Oh, uh, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Stay-at-home mom, fantastic. Yeah. I used to be a project manager and I worked in education mainly. All right. Yeah. And uh, have you seen any changes in the climate since you were younger? Um, definitely. It's one of the things that I'm super kind of interested in. Um, I've, I mean, on a daily basis, it fluctuates, of course, but, you know, even just the hot weather recently has been pretty alarming. But yeah, definitely there has been a change. What was it like when you were younger? Um, yeah, just the climate was different. Like the amount of snow was different. Yeah, it was more stable overall. And then what about now? I mean, does it affect your life personally at all? Or is it just uh, something you read about? No. So I kind of had an... So I've been interested in this topic for pretty much since I was 12. And I was trying to do a lot regarding, you know, improving my effect on climate and kind of really reducing. I started zero living zero waste. Um, yeah, I volunteered and did all kinds of stuff. So, like, I'm not concerned about the day-to-day -day climate. That's not concerning. It's more that just in about 20 to 30 years, it's going to be, yeah, full-on war. <laughs> what kind uh, of war? Uh, for resources, for, you know, for water, for sure just yeah for you know the climate is so unstable that it's going to be really difficult to produce the amount of food that we're consuming the inequality is going to be just so much bigger you know the people who have money will secure land will secure resources will secure everything and the majority of the population yeah, it's going to be horrible. <laughs> Are you optimistic or do you think that's for sure going to happen? Are you pessimistic? Yeah, so I kind of had a existential crisis about two years ago. And I was like, okay, I really tried to do the best I can. But like, you know, the amount of CO2 has already kind of surpassed the tipping point that was predicted that you know it's gonna start drastically changing the weather patterns and for me the way i see it it's like the reason why it's not worse is because we're just catching up we changed the climate so quickly that we're basically just like we increased the temperature and now it's just warming up to get to the full effect so at this point like i say um so we keep dancing while the earth is burning. <laughs> like, and you kind of just, you know, try to have that in the back and do the best you can on a daily basis to, you know, still do the best you can because that's just morally. Good. So you're, yeah. you would say, uh, yeah, I guess I'm very pessimistic. Yeah, very pessimistic. Sense. Like, yeah. And is there nothing we're going to do about it? It's... I mean, we've been... It's better to do things than not to do them because the effects will still, you know. And also, we can mitigate things for, for a while, like resiliency, you know, we're building resiliency. So for the short term, just kind of preparing for the change. But yeah, I think with the amount of consumption that we currently have and you know the newest technologies are like changing things for the better like ai has been you know improving a lot of things uh, but to be honest i feel like 
it's good to do good things and we're fixing some things but yeah i i think it's pretty inevitable that it's gonna be pretty um not uninhabitable but in 30 years it's just gonna be a lot of yeah unrest war movement of people just trying to find the places where they're still livable anything else you'd like to add um yeah that it's still good to do good and you know fight for the cause and like it still improves whatever improvement you can do like even zero waste in your own life that's a nice break well very good thank you very much on today what is it the 15th of november yeah. and uh and here in uh, Harvard uh, Square. Yay. So thank you very much, and uh, thank you. Thanks.